All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be a general love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you and the person that's on your mind. Okay, so let's start off with the energy oracle for an overall this energy here between the two of you. So let's get a theme, okay? If you guys wanna book something personal, all of my information is down below. Okay, as well as access to my online courses. All right, so let's find out what is going on here between you and the person that's on your mind. What's the overall theme here, Spirit? We have the door to value. Okay. We have the door to spirit. And we have the thinking man. Okay. Interesting. So I kind of get the vibe. <laughs> and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the door to personal healing. So there's something here about this connection is definitely opening up a lot of avenues for growth, okay? So this connection specifically could be showing you um, how to find your own value, right? Door to value, how to find your own value, your own worth. Sometimes this does represent money, but not always. This can just represent like knowing that you have value in this world, knowing that you have worth, um, especially next to the door to spirit. So I feel like this connection or this person is coming into your life or has come into your life um, for you to discover your own value, for you to discover your own worth, as well as your spiritual connection. Um, you guys might think a lot about each other, so you might be on each other's mind a lot with the thinking man here, or specifically it could be your person is thinking about you a lot. All right, but let's take a look. So past energy. So where are we coming from here? Past energy spirit for those who are watching. Past energy. Oh, the empress in the past. Yeah, talk about finding your own value. Talk about finding your own worth, right? So falling out under the door to value, you have the empress in the past. So I will say, I do think whoever this person is, whether you're with them or not, I feel like this is a connection that's helping you to see your own worth, okay? Um, so that's positive here. Let's see, that's past energy though. Let's clarify this. Why is empress here? Why is empress coming through? The knight of cups in reverse. Okay, I'm also getting that in the past there was a lot of attraction between you and this person, a lot of physical attraction. However, I think someone was um, holding back or not pursuing the other person. So there could have been like this strong, intense attraction, but a lack of movement or a lack of emotions being expressed. Okay, so their current energy towards you. Their current energy towards you. So... <laughs> The hanged man reversed, okay. So they're not really doing much right now. I don't see this person taking much action towards you. Let's see, why is, Why are they just uh, observing right now? Um, yeah, they're definitely holding back from you. They're not communicating, they're just watching, they're observing the situation, but they're not ready to communicate or they're just not communicating with you right now. That's their energy towards you. So your energy towards them. What's your energy towards them? So 10 of pentacles in reverse, so I'm getting kind of a lack of commitment here. Either um, you felt like they were non-committal or you're not really wanting something committed with them right now, okay? 10 of pentacles in reverse. Or you're just maybe not committing to the situation right now. Okay, so why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? Because I'm not seeing much hap moving here. Yeah, literally as I say that. Knight of wands in reverse. I'm not seeing much happening between you guys. Why is this? Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone is holding back. Oh. Oh, the truth comes out. Seven of Swords. Okay, so I'm okay. So in the past, like I said, um, I do see that there was a lot of physical attraction between you and this person, but no one was maybe pursuing or actually like initiating something, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, their energy towards you for whatever reason they're just observing they're not communicating like they're very firm on not communicating with you right now you're either seeing them as non-committal but i feel like this is your energy so this is not how you see them we'll look at that in a, mo in a minute but it's like your energy towards them is kind of not wanting something committed um, or you're just not committing to this situation with them because i'm getting 
why is this all happening? Um, there's not, there's no movement here. And it looks like because there was some sneakiness, seven of swords, some deception, or you guys are hiding, like you guys are being sneaky when it comes to not taking action towards each other, if that makes sense as well. You know, like um, possibly wanting to take action, but sh trying to give off the impression that you don't, Knight of Wands in reverse. So how do they see you as a person right now? How do they see you? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Why is this here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this person sees you as having a lot of options. Um, Nine of Pentacles, they see you as someone who's very independent. Seven of Cups in reverse, they feel like you could just choose whoever you wanted, essentially. Um, and they feel like you have a lot of options. They might feel like you've narrowed something down with the Seven of Cups in reverse, or even though you have options, you're just focusing on yourself. Okay, so this is how they're perceiving you, but they see you in a pretty positive light. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is definitely someone who's independent, who can take care of themselves, who's good on their own. Okay, um, so let's see here. How do you see that? How do you see your person? How do you see your person? The Ten of Swords. So you're no, you know that they're in pain over this, um, or you see them hurting over something. Why is the Ten of Swords coming through here? Yeah, stuck in some sort of pain. We have a Knight of Pentacles um, reversed with the Ten of Swords. Okay, the other message I'm getting, which I normally don't get this with uh, when I pull this spread specifically, and especially when I do like a, a how do they see you reading. So with this, because this is how you see them, you might also see this, this person as someone who's hurtful, like someone who hurts you. Um, but if that's not the case, then you see this person as someone who's in a lot of pain over you right now, and you feel like they're stuck in their own pain. And you might think that that's why they're not moving towards you because they're just wallowing in their own pain um, with the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? I'm just going to see this. Why are you guys, this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, why are you guys feeling non-committal towards them? We have, let's see, we have the lovers. <clears throat> so it's like you do feel a connection. Let's see, one more. Oh, okay. So the Five of Swords, that makes sense why this is all happening. Okay, so I'm going to say this. You do definitely feel a strong connection with this person. Could be even spiritual because we do have the door to spirit. We do have the lovers here. Um, but you're in this energy where you're not really wanting something committed with this person until the issues are resolved or until there's some sort of um, clearing up of the past. Because the Five of Swords looks like there's some sort of past deception that maybe has not been resolved here. All right, let's see. Where is this heading? Where is this heading? Retreating the hermit. I'm not getting that. No, I don't. Okay, I'm kind of seeing that no one's going to be taking any um, initiative here. I'm seeing that you're retreating, they're retreating over the next few weeks. I'm not seeing a lot of movement, guys. We're kind of already getting that, anyways. Let's see. Why is your person holding back so much? Why are they holding back so much? Yeah, control. So this person is, is very stubborn or has some control issues. So they're deliberately holding back from you as a means to be in control or it gives them some sort of false sense of control. Okay, it's all about control for this person. And maybe that's what you're aware of. So maybe you do know that there's been some sort of issues with like deception or control issues um, and you're kind of wanting that to be resolved. So before that is, it's like you do feel a connection with this person but you're not wanting something committed because of that. Okay, and they're seeing that you're good on your own. I, I just honestly think this person is going to keep retreating from you because it's like their only control right now. The hermit. You guys are both this energy. This is like not, I don't see much happening. I'm seeing a retreating energy. Let's see. What are their messages? What are their messages for you? We have, please be patient a little longer. I'm not ready for commitment. But it seems like both of you guys are not right now. I fear that if you get too close, you will hurt me. Okay. So, 
like I said, I do feel like this person is deliberately holding back. Um, and we do have please be patient a little longer. So I do feel like eventually they want to come towards you, but they aren't feeling like they're ready for something committed. So they're deliberately holding back from you right now. Um, on top of the non-committal energy, I'm getting that this person obviously has a lot of fears. They fear getting close to you. So if they're deliberately holding back from you, it's because they don't want to get close to you as a means to open up to you and get hurt, essentially. It's like a self-protection energy. Like, let's clarify this. I fear that if you get too close, you will hurt me. Yeah, so they stay in separation from you or they stay, like they stay silent or they stay, um, like they try not to move this connection along or they keep it very stagnant because it's their way of <laughs> controlling how much um, they invest into the situation, which means how much they invest is how much they can essentially get hurt. So it's almost like this person keeps you at a distance so that they don't have to get hurt or they come across as very stubborn or closed off because they're protecting themselves, they're protecting their heart. All right, let's clarify this. Please be patient a little longer. Please be patient a little longer. See the two of cups in reverse. So this person knows that you guys are, you guys have a falling out or there's like a disconnect between the two of you, but it's like they're not ready. This person is not ready to take initiative. Let's clarify this. I'm not ready for commitment. The ace of cups. Yeah, I think this person is still working on self-love or still working on how to deal with their own emotions. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, maybe even working on how to express their emotions as well. So it's like, I do think that this person with the Ace of Cups needs to um, love themselves more, needs to connect to that feeling of self-love so they're not ready for something committed with you. On top of that, they want to keep, it's like they really want to keep you at a distance right now. Okay, if this person is keeping you at a distance, I feel like this is some sort of lesson for you to know your own value and to step into your sort of spiritual um, journey, like to really uh, evolve spiritually and whatever this, like this connection is showing you how to find your own worth or find your own value, okay? Because uh, we do have the Empress coming through. I do think that this person is seeing you that way as well with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so they are seeing you this way. I don't know if you guys are in this energy, but that's how they perceive you. Um, but it looks like there's lessons here for both of you guys. I do think this person thinks about you a lot because we do have the thinking man, but they're more thinking. I don't see this person taking action. They just observe, but they hold back from you because they it's their sense of control. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. So I do hope that this reading was helpful. As always, if you want to book something personal, my information is down below. All right, so I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.